You know, I, I never thought that I would be um, dismissed by a president mm -hmm. uh, because I really did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I did everything that I was uh, charged to do and accountable for. Um, you know, did I ever feel like I should leave? Never. Um, that, that I should resign because of the pressure that I was under. Never felt that. Um, did I ever have thoughts that I should walk away for the betterment of the institution and the people that I work with every day and I serve. Yeah, you know, um, you know, most people don't know about me. I care more about those people and about our athletes um, than I do anything. And so, should I do something that would help make it better for them? Um, sure, I thought about that, um, but none. But I came to the conclusion that the best way for me to help them was to fight. Every coach is going to be that way, if it's Urban or anyone else. You're mm -hmm. exactly right. You know, the expectation for, uh, for Ohio State football is to win a national championship. That is his expectation, it's mine, it's, it's consistent with, with our great history and tradition and, and really what we're capable of. Uh, so the, 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 the challenge is, you know, when does that expectation possibly come to a reality? And, and, and where are you in the program to truly make that happen relative to your talent? maturity of your talent and, and all those type of things. So yes, um, I think when time passes, you know, whatever year that is, we will hopefully be looking back at a national championship or, and, and there'll be times when we we're close to a national championship. We're going to be like every other program at this level that, you know, we're going to be right there at some point in time and have some disappointment. Uh, but yes, that's, that's my expectation, his, and surely the fans should have it too. Yeah, so we're, well, there's a number of auditing things, but I think that one um, is we, well, first of all, we uh, we retain a lot of things. So we, we build a locker room and our equipment room, so for certain jerseys and helmets, and we keep those there until you graduate or your eligibility expires. Because, you know, somebody may leave and we're we'll giving their stuff. Um, but also, your rings, your gold pants, if you have them, there's times when you have to bring them in to certify that you've retained them or certify where they are. Because you may give them to your mom, you might have a divorce situation and your mom is somewhere else, we gotta certify that she's got it. So we periodically do those spot checks if there's an audit deal to make sure you still have the things that, that we gave you. Um, is that a random process? It's a random process, yeah, it could be tomorrow. So you did just kind of, and kind of like drug testing. If, okay. if you're selected to be audited, is it for like everything, or will it say, or will it be like a one I random thing? I don't know that level of detail. Okay. The compliance could answer that question. Okay. I don't know how far they go. I don't know if they just do it for Jersey or the, you know, the aggregate of all things. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure on that. Okay. One. Yeah. Um, uh, another thing that the, that report says. We said, do the same thing with cars, by the way. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that and that for the cars? Is that like just to make sure like the registration? I guess. Yeah. So we so you register with us. You you have a car. You register that car with us. We check it every now and then just to make sure there's no change. And this is all brand new. Uh, all brand new. So okay. we'll go over to the parking lot, walk around, check cars, check the numbers, things of that nature, just to make sure nothing's changed or see if there's any new cars that pop up. We can say okay, whose car is that? Might be Dan Walker's. Might be yours visiting, but we. We check them all out just to be sure that nobody got a loaner car that they shouldn't have.